Hi everybody, my name is Becky Fiddler. I'm going to go over the gluteus medius for our muscle functions video. Again, I'll go over the origin, insertion, functions, and exercises of this particular muscle. So to start off, the gluteus medius is one of the glute muscles. The origin of this muscle is just below the crest of the ilium. So that is your hip bone. So you're looking at your hip bone right here. If you run your finger along that ridge, right beneath that ridge is where the gluteus medius originates or starts. Okay, and then it runs down to the greater trochanter of the femur and that inserts on the posterior and middle portion of that greater trochanter. Okay, since now we know where this muscle is, the functions of this muscle, okay, all the fibers will help with uh, hip abduction, okay, so that's pulling your leg away from the midline, okay, and it also helps with lateral pelvic tilt, so I'm going to use my hands as kind of a level for my pelvis right now, okay, so I'm standing flat footed, now I'm just raising one side, okay. Now I'm exaggerating it a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so we have hip abduction and lateral pelvic tilt. Okay, now as far as the anterior and posterior fibers, they do um, separate motions. Okay, if you can remember the anterior fiber motions or functions, then you'll be able to remember the posterior ones I just remember one is the opposite of the other. Okay, so to start off the anterior fibers of the gluteus medius. Okay, we're looking at internal rotation of the hip. Okay, so it's rotating your leg pretty much inwards towards the midline. Okay, we also have flexion of the hip. Okay, and we also have anterior pelvic tilt, <coughs> excuse me, so that's basically just trying to poke your butt out more. So if you're poking your butt out, you're anteriorly rotating your pelvic. Okay, so now for the posterior fibers of the gluteus medius, it's a complete opposite of the anterior. So if you can remember anterior, you'll be able to remember posterior. So the posterior fibers help with external hip rotation. That's turning your hip out. Okay. And then we are looking also at hip extension. That's bringing your leg right behind you. So if you'd have your leg back here, you'd go like this. Okay. And then we also have posterior pelvic tilt, okay? So instead of forward and poking the butt out, we're going to tuck the butt in and try to shift the top of our pelvic to our back, okay? So you wouldn't have that curve in your back. It almost would be just flat, okay? So now that we know the origin insertion functions, of the gluteus medius. Now we can add exercises to our program to help build this muscle. So in order to build um, all of this muscle, I would recommend doing exercises that includes all the fibers. Um, if you can work just the posterior or anterior fibers, but if you're looking to just throw a couple exercises here or there in, you can go ahead and and get the whole muscle by doing pretty much um, just uh, one or two exercises. Okay, so we are looking at hip abduction. Okay, as our main exercise for the gluteus medius. So it's very simple. You can use cables, you can use uh, bands. So um, the easiest one probably for anybody to do would be to use bands. And that's only because this is an exercise that you are able to use anywhere. 
in your office, at your home, <coughs> excuse me, uh, pretty much anywhere you can take a band. Again, I've demonstrated the band work before. Um, the bands only cost ten dollars, and I got three. Okay, so we're looking at just wrapping the band right above our knees and just doing hip abductions. Okay, remember to work both sides. Okay, now if you're looking to just uh, work the anterior or the posterior ones, I would recommend as far as the anterior ones, I would work on internal rotation of the hip. Only because that seems to be the easiest to do with um, added resistance. Now I'm not saying added uh, weight because uh, the cables and things like that would be harder to add onto this exercise. Um, you can easily just place a weight on the floor right next to your foot and rotate your foot inwards using your whole leg to move that weight. Now you may only be able to use a two and a half to five pound weight in order to do this, but we need to remember uh, the weight, the actual weight of your weight that you are using versus the size of the muscle. So again, um, you would use less weight for your gluteus medius and more weight for gluteus maximus because your gluteus maximus is larger. So your gluteus maximus is able to lift more weight. Now as far as the posterior fibers, I would recommend obviously the easiest one being uh, hip extension. Okay, now again you're not going to just work the gluteus medius, you'll be working other assister um, muscles. So again, I hope you enjoyed something. I hope you're able to apply this to your training program now. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, I'm sorry, get a hold of me through Facebook. I do have a Facebook page. It's Becky Feather Fitness. Uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great training session with your new exercise, guys. Thanks.